up guys, I'm Mike from The Lost Co, and behind me is a very sweet, very shiny bicycle. This is our customer Kyle's brand new custom 2020 Chromag Rootem. reached out to us and said that he wanted to build a sweet custom hardtail that was going to be perfectly suited for his rocky and chunky trails out in Arkansas. So we helped him and we did exactly that. So Kyle had two overall goals with this new custom bike build. One was to be stable and planted on fast technical trails while also being nice and nimble and playful. And two was to just look really cool. So we did our best to do both of those things and I think it was a huge success. So let's touch on the first point and see why we chose the route down for Kyle's new bike. The Chromag route down has always been known as Chromag's super fun 29 inch really aggressive hardtail. And over the years, things have changed slightly from 2019 to 2020, the reach has grown a little bit. The rear end has actually got about five millimeters longer. The head tube angle stays at 64 degrees. So this thing is, again, just following the trend, longer, lower slacker. And I think that this thing is going to be even better than it was last year. Like I said, the head tube angle is 64 degrees and the rear chain stays, they went from last year, 415 millimeters to this year, 420 millimeters, man because you know, 420, that's a good chain stay length. Those angles combined with a little bit longer reach is going to make this thing super planted and stable going downhill really fast. And for components to attach this sweet frame, we worked hand in hand closely with Kyle to kind of give him some recommendations on what we thought would be a really sweet build in our eyes, but we worked closely with him to make sure that he also agreed that this was going to be a sweet build. So starting up front with the fork, we've got the RockShox Lyric Ultimate. That's got that new Charger 2.1 RC2 damper in it. If you got a hardtail, you don't have a shock in the back to help the front so we always recommend using the highest quality fork that you can up front on a hardtail and that's what he did this thing is going to ride super buttery smooth oh and speaking of rear shock yeah this does not have one however these chromag frames ride super smooth because chromag uses a specific custom type of chromoly tubing for their frames which is specifically butted exactly to their spec makes them ride super smooth to pedal this thing uphill kyle went with the sram gx eagle drivetrain super tried and true it's a you get that? To pedal this thing uphill, Kyle went with the SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain. This is a tried and true setup. It's also very affordable. I think he's gonna be pretty stoked with that Eagle pedaling this thing uphill. And up front, attached to those GX Eagle cranks, we've got some DMR Vault pedals in silver, super shiny. They match all the other silver bits, pretty bomb proof pedals. He's gonna be stoked on those. Speaking of pedaling great, the Root Down uses 29 inch wheels. And for the wheel set on this bike, we built up a custom wheel set in the shop. For the rims, we used our shop favorite DT Swiss XM481 rim in the front and the EX511 rim out back. It's a hardtail. This thing's gonna be smashing into that back rim. So a slightly lighter duty rim up front and a slightly heavier duty rim out back is the perfect combination for an aggressive hardtail like the Root Down. These things are then laced up with silver brass nipples and silver double butted spokes to some Hope Pro 4 hubs. Hope Pro 4 hubs are super well known and they're pretty bomb proof, which is why Kyle ultimately chose these as his hub of choice. I think he's gonna be pretty stoked on his decision. Overall, the wheels are pretty bomb proof and that silver nipple, silver spoke, silver hub combination looks pretty sweet. Connected to those DT Swiss rims is some Maxxis rubber front and rear. We've got a Asagai up front and the aggressor in the rear. Pretty dry and dusty and fast out there in Arkansas. This is going to be an awesome set of rubber front and rear. It's gonna offer a ton of traction, especially in loose dusty conditions with that aggressor out back and also offer pretty fast rolling resistance. Both tires are set up tubeless and we've got a cush core in the rim because if you got a hardtail, trust us, you gotta put a cush core in the back. Makes your bike ride super smooth and quiet. We'd highly recommend it. This bike is going to be pretty fast. So you got to slow it down pretty quickly too. So we went with our shop favorite SRAM Code RSC brakes. They've got a ton of power, especially with a 200 millimeter rotor up front and a 180 millimeter rotor out back. Pretty standard, but tons and tons of power and modulation. And on the brakes, you'll notice something a little bit different and out of the ordinary. We used some Jaguar Sterling Silver hoses, and we also used the same color of housing for the shifting and the dropper post. So that again matches all the other silver bits, and we just went out of our way to do something pretty cool and unordinary. Turned out really awesome. This is a bike meant for going up and down the mountain. So of course we got a sweet 
sweet dropper post on there for him. We went with the shop favorite Fox transfer posts in 175 millimeters. The reliability of the transfer posts is evenly matched at the top with one of the most reliably comfortable saddles. That is the Chromag Trailmaster DT, one of our shop favorites. He's gonna be stoked with that too. Now let's go to the most personal part of the bike, the cockpit, because you're holding it and staring at it all the time while you're riding. We've got a set of Cascade Racing Designs Stooge Bars in 30 millimeter rise, matched perfectly to a Cascade Racing Designs Vagrant Stem, 35 millimeter length in that raw aluminum silver, it just matches all the bits great and it really finishes off that build because that's one of the first things that your eyes go to when you're looking at this bike. Kyle then went with my personal favorite ODI Elite Pro Grips in black and he's got a wolf tooth light action remote over there integrated onto a SRAM matchmaker lever for the brake. That comes in the nickel plated finish. It looks badass. Overall, all of us here in the shop are super stoked on how this thing turned out, and we are thinking that Kyle is going to be just as stoked as we are when he opens the box, pops on the front wheel, and goes for his first ride with this thing. This thing just looks amazing with that indigo blue colorway of that frame, matched to every little bit and piece that comes in silver, all the way up to that RockShox Lyric silver decal, up to the Chromag seat post clamp, down to those DMR pedals, and even on that RockShox fender, it's got some silver on there, it just looks super sick. Kyle, we're super excited for you to receive this bike, take it out on the trails, and you gotta let us know how it rides. Kyle was able to make his dream bike a reality by using our custom build form on our website. So if you're looking to build up a sweet custom bike for yourself, click this link right here, go to the custom build page on our website. If you're looking for a very personalized experience working hand in hand with us, making sure that you get everything right the first time, making a bike that looks super sweet and rides just as good. Kyle was lucky enough to actually get one of these Chromag root down frames because they're pretty hard to come by and Chromag orders these in small numbers. So if you really, really want to build a root down or a Silas or some Chromag bike, then you gotta click this link right here, head over to our website and order one of these up because they are pretty tough to get a hold of and once they're gone, they're gone. So these are the 2020s, order one ASAP. Until next time, I'm gonna go ride some bikes and we gotta take some photos of this thing because it's sunny out in Bellingham, which doesn't happen very often. Peace.